So what do we do about this? What happens when people start copying your your brand, your music, your, your, your particular style and clothes, your phrasing, your words? What happens when people are copying it, right? And you notice it. What's the next step? Well, we're going to talk about it today. So let's go ahead and get into that. Go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the bell. And let's get to work. Salute to that. All right, now quick flashback. Growing up, for those of you guys that don't know, I'm the oldest out of four kids. I have two younger brothers and a younger sister. And when you're the oldest, for those of you that are the oldest, you know that generally your siblings are always copying things that you do. And it could be like the smallest of things. It could just be like, yo, I'm trying to put on a, a gray uh, shirt then they want to put on a great shirt. I want to go downstairs and grab me a snack and sit down and watch some cartoons. They want to do the same thing, man. I'm trying to go outside and go to the playground, maybe go play ball. Now they want to go do it. just feels like no matter what I tried to do, they were trying to copy your boy. But truth be told, that's life. I learned very quickly that that's just life in general. People do the exact same thing. I mean, let's just take your coworkers, man. Like when people found out that there's a, a particular shortcut, there's a faster route to get to work, Everyone's trying to hop on it. When people find out there's a fire restaurant in town that might be on a cheaper end or maybe it's it's more extravagant, but it's worth the money. Everyone tries to go there no matter what it is or, you know, the next hot, you know, the, the hottest uh, new artist. Everyone's trying to hop on the wave as soon as they can. But when it comes to you and me and this music thing and our brand, yo, we take that very, very personal when it comes to, when we're talking about copying, right? People jocking your stuff. Why? Because we invest a lot in this, a lot of time, money, blood, sweat, and tears. We invest a lot in this, whether that's the equipment that we use, you know, the time that we, we spend on our, our craft and, and we're not using on going to hang out or go to the mall or, or going to parties, whatever it is. We are putting in the time, whether it's us focusing on particulars on our album cover or paying attention to the font uh, in our merchandise or even watching tutorials and videos and trainings, right? Webinars just to be better and better and better at what we do. So we take things very, very personally because it's our art. It's our craft. And as creative, sometimes we catch other people on our feed copying our style our language and even sometimes our ideas and truth be told guys we shouldn't be upset about it we shouldn't be mad yeah that's probably not where you thought i was going with it but you shouldn't be upset with it and i'm gonna tell you why okay so reason number one is why would you get upset when something that you do inspires or motivates someone else isn't that the point anyway especially considering the fact that that's you in a nutshell. All of us growing up, when you were a kid, if you were someone that like grew up watching athletes, there was probably one or two particular athletes that made you feel like, man, I want to do that. I, I, I believe I can do that. Maybe growing up, you saw a particular band or a particular entertainer, rapper, singer, producer, whatever. And you're like, yo, I want to do that. Actor, actress, whatever it is, you said, I wish I could do that. You were inspired by them. You were motivated by them. So when other people see you, see your content, see your talent, and they get inspired to do similar things that you're doing, why get upset about it? Reason number two and why you really shouldn't be that frustrated is because they'll always be a step behind. The people that are copying you will always be a step behind because you're the original. You're the person that, that, that made those first couple steps first. Just think of it from a trendy perspective, right? What would you rather be? Would you rather be the person that is doing the latest trend or would you rather be the person that's setting the trend? And the final reason why you shouldn't be upset is because by them copying you, they're really giving credit to your greatness. I mean, seriously, they're, they're saying you're awesome, you're great. They see that you're talented because they're copying you. When was the last time that you copied someone that you didn't believe was successful? Seriously, they're doing it because they see greatness in you. They see awesomeness in you. They see dopeness in you. So why be upset? Now, listen, guys, don't get me wrong. As I said earlier, I understand that there are influencers and people that 
have way bigger platforms than me and they've certainly you know uh copied ideas and things that i've done uh concepts that i've done in my videos right and i can tell but i'm okay and i'm not even that frustrated about it you know why because the point of me doing the videos is to help people like you and if so if someone from that has a bigger platform or more people essentially repeats my message and those people get helped i'm happy with it i'm cool with it and i know that's where many creatives and artists struggle they're like well if i if i start something and then people copy it they're 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 stealing from me and i'm not getting my due just credit and it's like yo at the end of the day no one really cares about that i'm not saying if someone stole your lyrics verbatim that you don't need to go get your money because you do know you do need to go get your money if people out here stealing stealing your lyrics stealing your logo stealing that type of stuff like your your property then yeah go handle your business get you a lawyer go ahead go ahead, handle that right maybe you use particular themed colors on your instagram or your TikTok or whatever and then all of a sudden other artists around you are making similar type of posts don't get upset with them because truth be told they believe that it's working that means they're paying attention to your work they're paying attention to your music drops they're paying attention to the way you release content they're paying attention to maybe even how people are responding to your stuff right and they're going i want the same thing i want to be like them right what they're doing is something that i gravitate towards and i want to be able to push that to my following so when you see people copying your stuff Take it as a sign of, of respect. Take it as a sign of respect. Again, I'm a guy who's into to athletics and sports, right? Some of the greatest athletes, they took from a lot of the, the moves that they have, you know, in their toolbox, and they got it from the people that they looked up to growing up, right? LeBron has moves from Magic Johnson. Kobe obviously had tons of moves from Michael Jordan, right? And that happens across the board in almost every industry, so don't get offended if you notice people are copying you. Just take it as a sign of respect. You feel me? How do you guys feel about this video? I mean, y'all go ahead and let me know. And as always, go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button so you guys get notified every time I drop a new video. Also, if there's a particular topic you want me to talk about, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and I will get to that ASAP. And as always, man, be you, enjoy your life, and live authentic. Salutes to that, and I'll catch y'all later.